The big story is it's the 15th annual Worldwide Toast to Harry Carey at Harry Carey's Navy Pier. We have something major about to occur. We're going to toast on the count of three, a one, a two, a three. And now I will turn it over to the living legend, Jim Cornelius. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. I don't care if I ever get back. And it's root, root, root for the Cubbies. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes. You're out at the old ball. In what kind of danger are we, Grant? This is totally uh, safe. We have Michael Lantieri and his brother Lou Lantieri, Major League Hollywood special effects people. We're going to have Mr. Corneliuson hit the high note and see if he can break the glasses with his voice. Well, we've brought some special glasses from Hollywood that have required us to run a wire to each glass. What we have here is the receiver that will receive the message from the transmitter, send the the, the uh, electricity up through the table into the glasses that have the wired charge on them. And then we will also put a wire up Jim's sleeve. And when we're ready to roll, we'll make the transmitter hot and pop the glasses and the party will begin. It's worked on hydraulics, which means the charge is in the fluid. The breakaway glasses are candy glass, so they can't hurt anybody. We've actually found that uh, Harry was onto something when he chose Budweiser. The viscosity and the makeup hydraulics it a little differently than water. It should just pop, and the liquid should go everywhere. I guess we better make sure that all the glasses are plastic. <laughs> but uh, Carnay Lucen, spelled backwards. <laughs> Explosive! <laughs> but anyway, here's to uh, one of my heroes, Harry Carey. I mean, there's, I mean, who was better? His name is still very much alive. We still miss him. And we miss him even more every time baseball season starts. But that, I can't believe 15 years has gone by since we lost him. And still that celebration is uh, a very active one. And what a great idea to bring Jimmy Cornelison in there to do the singing.